<laughs> Why are you such an asshole, Mike? Where am I going? Oh, air, yeah. Frosty Hall ended up giving me one of his old cameras. Run, bitch, run! Which was what he used to use for a dash cam. And uh, it's a really crappy camera, and basically he wants me to do a review on it to show people that not all 1080s are equal. And trust me, they, this is a pretty shitty camera. Um, yeah, it's uh, super low quality. I, I, to be honest, I might keep using it because when you minimize the video, when you uh, minimize the video to the bottom of the screen, like bottom left, bottom right of the screen, it's not bad. And to get some some view coming from the back wouldn't be too bad. So I might end up keeping it, but I'm going to do a vlog and comparison between my Ion, qual the quality of the uh, video strictly, uh, the Ghost, and whatever that piece of crap is. Oh, that's not bad. Five holes in about six, five months, six months, and then it was uh, seven holes in less than a year in both my front and my back tires. That's more, more shit in my tires than I've gotten in my entire life. More, more holes in my uh, tires in one year than I have gotten in my entire life. Yeah, just absolutely ridiculous. Ah, oh, damn it, I wanted that. Shitty fucking deal. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. I went to the motorcycle show last Sunday and they were giving away free little emergency kits just with like band-aids and stuff like that in them. And a free uh, tire gauge. So I was like, hell yeah. If I knew how to ride a bike, I'd be going forward faster. Dumb fucking bitch, man. man like Jesus fucking idiots man Van seen better days. Okay, so put my kickstand up first. Fuck. The one thing that I have noticed while editing, I've got the um, crappy camera on the right side, the ion underneath, and then my main helmet camera right on top here. The audio and the video is not matching up um the let's see here i've got this is the footage anything on this line here is the footage from the crappy camera this is from my ion underneath the fairing and then this is from my drift i am constantly doing uh corrections for the 
crappy camera. And you can see here where I've spliced it, and I'm trying to match up the video with the other two uh, streams. So it's it's really weird because I'll have it matched up, and then I'll go and view it, and a little bit later the footage will be mismatched again. So it's just it's very very tedious. That's another thing. It's I've never run into it before with the three cameras that I've run before. I've run a GoPro and uh, Ion at the same time, and I've also run a GoPro and a Drift at the same time, and I've never had matching uh, problems before where if I'm trying to run a long stream, they start to mismatch over time, but I'm definitely running into that with this, uh, with this camera. I really hope that thing doesn't fall off because I was having trouble getting that one sticking to it before with my 3M tape. I think the fairings are too cold for it to stick to it. So I basically had to use one of the stickies that came with the GoPro knockoff, put it on the ion mount, uh, mount and get it to stick that way. I'm really hoping they don't fall off. That neutral though. So just to give you an example of what uh, the issue is that I am running with, <clears throat> or running, uh, having problems with, is the consistent stream starting to mismatch over time. And a good example is going to be this little section right here. You're going to see it. I just did. Oh crap! I just did a um, a match, and it's it's pretty close. You'll see it. It's pretty close, but where I turn my head. And I'm going to match it up pretty darn close, but you'll see the further that the video plays, the worse that the mismatch is going to get. Alright, so just to show everyone what I've got set up real quick. Got my ion tucked underneath the fairing there. I've had my ion underneath the fairing before and the sound sounds really good. Uh, I've had it underneath and it doesn't shake too bad. It's actually really good. You can it sounds really good with the uh, the muffler and everything like that. The Video is really good. I gotta cut out my plate, but that's about it. I get quite a bit of plate showing in it. I put the GoPro knockoff up on top because the biggest thing that I've noticed with that mounting system is it really limits what you can do with the mount, or sorry, with the camera where you can put it without having all those extra extensions set up. That is the biggest plus that I have seen so far to the ion is that little ball joint you can really shift the ball joint and fine-tune it to exactly where you want to put it it just makes it so much easier so this one is just set up right here got it recording right now they're all recording right now um, so that one's facing backwards right there so I've got three cameras doing this is super friggin tedious we're gonna ride around for a little bit and some decent footage. I'm really not expecting much from that knockoff because I've already seen footage from it and like Frosty and all was saying, it's pretty shit. So that's that's as far as I'm going to edit it. Um, you can see the last, what, minute and a half of the video how it was lined up pretty good, and then when I put my hand on the camera, it was lined up, uh, not lined up at all. It was quite a ways off, and then by the time the video ended, um, my head was turning a good second to two seconds. Uh, I think at one point it was almost three seconds off. That was just like one complete run. So there's the, there's your biggest difference that I have found by far is not the video quality, because the video quality, you can zoom or you can decrease the size of the video and 
you can make it look decent. Um, you're not going to be able to zoom in or anything like that, but you make the video smaller so the pixels are smaller so you can see it decently. Um, but it is the actual editing where I ran into the most trouble. Editing is a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to do the whole ride video. What I might do is just take the um, Ion uh, video and the Ghost video for the ride and just kind of pair it up that way when I go on the highway and stuff like that and make a separate video. But as far as doing another video with the GoPro knockoff, I'm just going to end it right here because it's it's a piece of garbage. Um, be very, very careful what you buy for cheap off of eBay. The end.